seeing clients tonight. Hi, Lisa? Hello? Well, that was rude. Is that... Danny? Is that you? She knows him. That phony knows him. Knows who? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Hi again. Hello. Do you have a patient here named Danny Marconi? Yes, we do. Are you a relative? No, I'm just hoping to ask him some questions. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but he passed away earlier this afternoon. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? Come on, let's blow. Um, sorry to bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Let's just get a move on. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Do you know a Danny Marconi? What about him? I know he died this afternoon. And? And I wanted to talk to you about him. Wait, grandfather? He was your grandfather? Yes. If you didn't know that, why are you here asking about it? Grandfather? I can't believe it! Well... Um... I'm psychic. You know about my grandfather because you're psychic? Yes. Did you talk to his ghost or something? Ironically, no, I didn't. Uh-huh. I ask you again. How do you know my grandfather? A little help here. <sighs> Just tell her this. He had a shop on Grand Street. That, there are a million ways you could have known that. Um... <sighs> Fine. Tell her everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. What? Just say it. Everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. Excuse me? He drank whiskey straight with no ice. He put salt on everything. Played the clarinet like he was born with it in his hand. He would have sold his soul to play at the supper club. And he was madly, madly in love with a singer named Linda. Madly in love with a singer named Linda. Get in. Linda was my grandmother. She died before I was born. Thank heaven for small favors. Seeing you would have broken her heart. You're for real, aren't you? You're one of them? Yes, that's right. I thought so. I've been nothing but loyal over the years. You have no reason to test me like this. Look at her, shaking like a leaf. Just because there was that bit of trouble with the reporter... You mean his murder. I am not responsible for that. Why now? If what I suspect is true, you people have looked the other way for years. Why the change of heart? Gavin has killed someone. I can't confirm that one way or the other, and neither can you. Look, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. I want to know what happened, that's all. Whoever Gavin is, he needs to be stopped. I want to believe you. Then what's the problem? Look, what if I tell you my suspicions and I'm wrong? You think I can just walk away? So what do you suggest? I'll give you the names of the last two clients I referred to Gavin. That's harmless enough. You look into them. You find anything. Maybe we can talk. Fine. Give them to me. Here. Thanks. I will get to the bottom of this. I hope so. But until you do, leave me out of it. Now get out. I've done all I can. Is this what you lived for, Danny? Was it worth it? You were a good man, Danny. You deserved a better legacy than this. Well, maybe we both did. So it looks like we've got to track down these two names. Huh? Oh, sure. Who are they? 
We've got a Tiffany Walters. She lives on Thompson Street, just south of Washington Square. And the other? Jamie Graham. She's a student up at Columbia. Didn't you go to school there? Yeah, it's been a while. Charming. Tiffany's name is written on her buzzer. She's in apartment two, right on the ground floor. They're all locked. It's a bunch of mailboxes. Tiffany's mailbox is on the bottom row. It looks the same as all the others. Locked. It looks the same. Locked. Get over here, I got some What? All right. Sure. Light's a bit dim in here, but I can see her just fine. Let's have a look-see. It's too dark to make anything out. No point. He can't touch it. No point. Let's have a little... What? All right. Sure. Let's have a look-see. I can just make out the return address. This letter is from someone named R. Abu. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello? Hi there. What? Who are you? How'd you get in? Oh, I... I'm a friend. I came to check up on you. I heard you weren't feeling well. Really? Oh, how nice. It makes my day when people care. Huh? I can see right through you, mister. You're not the only one. Oh, shut up! You think you're so clever? You think you're so charming? Can't blame a guy for trying. Well, take it somewhere else. I've had enough. Enough of what? I'm turning my back now. I want to be left alone. Hello again. What? So, you're Tiffany Walters, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Whatever. Well, we've confirmed that at least. So what's your beef anyway? I never had a broad so angry with me. Not before dinner, anyway. Just leave me alone. So. What? You're a ghost. You're haunting your own apartment. I'm what? That's rich. Really rich. I thought I'd heard them all, but that one. Just leave me alone. Well, yeah. yeah. Looks like a pretty threatening letter from someone called STP. There's a message written on this photo. Rachel and Tiff. We rocked? I don't get it. Hello? What? That's a cute picture there of you. Who's your friend? Stop with the personal questions. It's my life. I made my choices. I'll deal with them. Just leave me alone. Could you tell me what S- Stop with the- It's my- Just leave- Could you tell me- Stop- It's- Just- So- Nice- Do you know- Gavin? Yeah. You know him? I don't know. You don't know. Well, see you around. Yeah, see ya. So how did it go? She's a spook, all right. 
pretty recent one, too. Just like Jeremy. Yeah. Flyers for guitar lessons, computer repair, and furniture. Although this one looks interesting. Hi. Hi! You're new here, aren't you? Uh, yeah, my first time. I knew it. I never forget a face. Are you Rachel Abu? Yeah, that's me. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. Tiffany? What about her? You were friends, right? Sort of. Yeah, we were friends before... well, before she died. I'm looking into her death. Why? Wasn't it a brain aneurysm or something? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, okay, but I'm not sure what kind of help I can be. You wouldn't know anybody named... Funny. I think Tiffany did mention that name once or twice. But I don't remember the context. Sorry. Have you ever heard of... Nope. I... So you and Tiffany were friends? A few years ago. We were both office temps, and when our jobs ended, we got close. I went on to start this place. She stayed on with the temp agency. She was trying to find her way, you know? Maybe she thought she found it. What do you mean? Oh, she met some guy named Ken at one of her temp jobs. Then she stopped hanging out with me. Same old story. I don't blame her. It happens. What do you know about the- Only that his name was Ken, and she met him while on one of her office temp jobs. Tiffany was kind of intense about him. She really fell head over heels. I couldn't tell if it was sweet or if it was scary. Have you ever heard- Nope. Is there anything- I've told you everything I know. You wouldn't know- Funny, but I don't- Do you know where Tiff- I wouldn't know. She never told me. And those temp agencies bounce you around. What about the agency she worked for? We didn't work at the same agency, so I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'll see you around. Have a good night. STP could be a temp agency, I suppose. Only one way to find out. Give me a sec. You talking to me? Bingo. STP stands for Sterling Temp Placement. And here's the address. It's just south of Midtown. You enjoy that thing a little too much. Hi again. Hi! Have you ever heard of it? Nope. Thanks. Have a good night. Hi, are you busy? Hmm? Sorry, we're not taking new applicants right now. And even if I were, it's several hours past closing time. I'm not looking for a job. Sorry. I was hoping to ask you some questions. Will this take long? It depends on you. Fine. What do you want? I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. She used to work for this agency. Yes, I remember her. I need to know what company you placed her in. That, I'm afraid, is confidential. Are you aware that Tiffany is dead? I am aware, yes, but it doesn't change anything. Do you know? No, I don't. Do you know anyone? I can't tell you. So something happened. I said nothing of the sort. You're open kind of late. Like I said, we're not open. Just because I'm not seeing a client doesn't mean there isn't work to do. 
We'll thank. Right. Stay close to the door. After you. Hello? What? So, tell me about Ken. Ken? He's, He's wonderful. wonderful. Is he now? He's... I can't begin to explain. Try me. He... Wait. Not you too. Huh? Why is everyone against us? I don't understand. I'd like to understand. How about you tell me about it? Just go away. I heard you worked for Sterling. Oh, those jerks. Jerks? They fired me. Terminated my contract. For no reason. Sorry to hear that. Whatever. It's not like there aren't other temp agencies. Well, yeah. Typical spook. Evasive. Cryptic. Won't give me a damn straight answer. So, par for the course then. Don't worry, we'll get her. We always do. Hi again. Yes? I know you terminated Tiffany's contract. Could you tell me why? Look, we had a serious complaint and had to let her go. That's all I can say. You can't tell me who made the complaint. Absolutely not. Why the secrecy? Surely Tiffany won't mind. She's dead. Look, whatever happened, happened at the client's office. And I like to keep my clients. Agencies like mine are struggling to stay in business. People just aren't hiring temps like they used to. So if it's all the same, I'm keeping my mouth shut. So you'd say your reputation is important? Of course it's important. Without it, who would do business with us? Well, thank you. Right. You might be interested in seeing this. The City Post? Is that who you're working for? Yes, the biggest paper in the city. Maybe you can be more forthcoming now. No, doesn't change a thing. Confidential is confidential. You just made doubly sure that I won't say anything. His name is... Hi again. Yes? Well, I'm afraid that I have no choice but to end my article with you. Huh? What do you mean? An investigation is like following links in a chain, and you're the last link. Is this supposed to be a threat? I've told you absolutely nothing. Oh, don't worry. I'll just write the truth about how you fired her and then refused to comment on her tragic death in the City Post, read by millions. That should do wonders for your reputation, don't you think? Why are you harassing me? Surely there are other leads you could follow. Maybe, but I'm on a deadline. It's a shame that I don't have someone else to harass instead. Maybe then I could avoid mentioning this place entirely. This is blackmail. Fine. The man you want is Ken Sharp of Sharp Sound. Now just get out of here. It says, Sharp Sound. It says, Gal Friday Publishing. Come on in. Hi, are you Ken Sharp? I sure am. What can I do for you, Miss... Blackwell. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah. The midnight oil could wait. What's up? I'm helping out the City Post with an article. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. The newspaper. Sure. Ask away. 
So, what can you tell me about this place? This place? We're an audio studio. You need any voiceover, music, or sound design, then we're your guys. I was hoping to talk to you about Tiffany. Tiffany? Walters. She used to work for you as a temp. Did she? I'm afraid we've gone through quite a few temps. Yeah, I'll bet he has. So, uh, I'm sorry. She might have worked for us, but I don't remember her. Do you ever deal with a temp agency called Sterling? Yeah, I use them to hire temps sometimes, when things get busy. Are you using them now? Not at the moment. Things are pretty slow. Are you sure you... Do you ever deal... Yeah, are you... Not a... I spoke to a guy from Sterling. He confirmed she worked here. For all I know, he might be right, but I don't remember her. Like I said, we go through a lot of temps here. You filed a complaint. Have you ever worked? Some are all right, but others? Well, there's a reason why they are temping. So sure, I've made my share of complaints, but can I remember any specific one? No. Were you ever in a- Miss Blackwell. I'm just following a lead. Well, if- Are you sure? I told you. Well, thanks. See you around. I'm gonna go in and snoop around. You sit tight. It's a set. <sighs> I can barely make anything out in here. It says Gal Friday Publishing. Tiffany. Sounds like our boy Ken knew Tiffany after all. Come on in. So, tell me, Ken, why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? What? What is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. Maybe you're right, but maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? <sighs> you're a real piece of work. Fine. Go on. Ask what you want. So, tell me about Tiffany. Look, do you breathe a word of this? And I'll have the police on you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Lips are sealed. All right. Yes, I knew Tiffany. You probably guessed that we were involved. I gathered that. I was working late. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial, and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted something else. So she came on to you? Yeah, she wouldn't take no for an answer. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Of course, the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. Crazy? How so? My God, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. She kept saying we were destined to be together, that it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. 
So you did end things with her? God, yes. I had to. Even if I wasn't a married man, the woman was a complete head case. Talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle Dove? So I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. No more temps. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. That's an interesting picture up there. I don't recognize the band. Well, you wouldn't. That was my dad's group. They haven't been together since the 60s. What happened to them? They died. They died, I think. What? He never talked about it much. Who's that man in the photograph? Him? Uh, that's my dad. He and I started this place um, about 20 years ago. He's retired now, but he pops his head in sometimes. Why do you keep the letter? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? It was nice at the beginning. She was crazy, but she saw something in me. I suppose I still want to hold on to that. Especially now that she's, you know, gone. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. Well, thanks. See you around. Stay close to the door, Red. After you, Joey. Hello again. What? Look, you're gonna have to face facts. Ken is through with you. You're lying. Deep down, he still loves me. He just can't admit it. He told me himself. I don't believe you. You called Ken your turtle dove, right? That's private. How did you know about that? He told me himself. All this mooning? He thinks it's pathetic. He... what? It's over, kid. You want my advice? Forget about him and get on with your... Well, you need to get over him is all I'm saying. I... no. I need to hear it from him. Just one more time. From him. Hey, wait a sec. Let me guess. That was Tiffany. Why didn't you stop her? Because I can't touch ghosts? Right, forget it. Let's just get after her. Ken? Ken? Do you want to come back to my place? Come on in. I'll wear that outfit you like. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you, I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What? What a total embarrassment she was. Embarrassment? Ken, you don't mean that. Do you mean that? Of course I do. With that squeaky, lovey-dovey voice and the way she'd throw herself at me in public. I thought you liked it. You'd think a guy would like that kind of attention, but she was so needy and desperate about it. Desperate? I was not desperate. It was fate. She said we were destined to be together, that it was fate. I don't believe what I'm hearing. We're supposed to be together. Gavin said so. I don't know why I didn't end it right then and there. But like an idiot, I just kept being reeled back in. I gave up everything for you. I gave up... I gave up my life for you. She thought I'd give up my entire life for her. But that was crazy. I only hope she found some happiness before she died. Died? Died? Am I dead to you? Is that it? I... I can't even look at you. I've got to get out of here. I need air. Whoa. Did you feel that? Feels like the AC kicked in. Anyway, take my advice. You meet a guy you like, don't smother him. He'll just run away. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I think that's everything. Thanks again, Ken. Sure. You know, feels kind of good to talk about it. And I, uh, well, I hope you'll be discreet about it. Don't worry.
Tiffany? You think I'm pathetic, don't you? Oh, no. Not at all. I do. Why did I act like such a love-struck little girl? I don't know. We all act stupid sometimes. Not like this. I couldn't stop myself. Why? Just because Gavin said we should be together? Gavin? Is that the psychic who told you to stick with Ken? Yeah, and I believed every last word. Why would I believe something so stupid? Ken was all I thought about. When he told me it was over, I was just angry I couldn't be with him. Gavin told me not to worry, that it was destiny, that we'd be together. It took me over. I wouldn't get out of bed. I just stopped. I'm sorry. I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Hey, Tiff. I got something for you. What is it? It's something to help you on your way. Just one minute. Look at him, working at his desk like nothing's happened. I'm ready. It feels good. The light, I mean. It feels good. Just head towards it. That's all you need to do. It feels like... it feels like Gavin. Isn't that strange? Believing his words, accepting the lie, it felt good. Wonderful. I want to hate him, but I can't. It's like it doesn't matter. We'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. Do you know where we can find him? No, he'd come over to my place. He'd talk and it all seemed so clear. That's all I can remember. It's all fading. You better go. Thank you. I, I don't know what else to say. No need to thank us. It's what we do. Well, I guess this is it. She all taken care of? Yeah, I think she'll be alright. At least, I hope so. This makes no sense, Joey. Hey? Her death. It was so... pointless. Who said there had to be a point? She didn't even like Ken. Not really. Haven't you ever been in love? That's not what I mean. You don't just die of a broken heart. Not literally. Maybe. Maybe not. But whoever this Gavin guy is, he put her up to it. I think we owe our friend Lisa another visit. <laughs>